Okay, welcome to Tech Tips with Todd. And our topic today is going to cover video grading using clip palettes. And the essential idea here is that you will record yourself grading a digital document and using clip palettes that have predefined statements and comments for common errors uh, particular to that assignment that you can copy and paste in to expedite the process. So let's jump right in and take a look and see the software that we're going to use today to accomplish the task. First up is Copy Paste Pro. It's a Mac only piece of software, runs around $25 and it stores your clips. And then to get the video recording done we're going to use a piece of software called Jing and this is a dual platform for both PC and Mac. It's a free piece of software and you can pay $15 a year subscription to have Jing Pro which gives you added storage space and longer videos. And finally a piece of software that enhances your Gmail uh, capabilities giving you drag and drop uh, for file attachments and other features. Okay, so let's jump right in and take a look. Okay, first up I'm going to bring up a Excel file from a recent exam given and the students were required to make a graph and what I'll do is I'll bring up my copy paste pro clip set you come over this little floating icon and here's my little palette and you can of course start store archive palettes in here. You click here and look at the archives and I've got them for specific uh, labs that I do throughout the year. Uh, and here of course is graphs and tables. Uh, these are two big items that uh, I train the students on uh, throughout the year. So what we'll do is we'll go over here and open up um, our first little pasting clip. And I've noticed the student has not put a proper heading so I'll put a little spot there and then paste it in. It says proper heading missing. And then over here I have my rubric score, uh, which is criterion E, descriptor 3, and then the grade will be from 1 to 7 uh, inside of this little box here. Um, I grade on a rubric scale 1 to 7. And then what we'll do is we'll drop in our little clips for the uh, grading assignment. And now these are ones that have been predefined to the students in advance. So I'll just put a little mark here, paste it in and these are the deductions that I make and the requirements that they must have on the graph. So what we'll do is we'll look over at their title. They've got a couple of mistakes there so I'm going to bring over the title error uh, clip, put it there and they need to have this on the corner with a, one, a period after the one. They've got some font size problems here so I'm going to give them the font error deduction there. They've uh, forgot to take the border off of the uh, graph so that's down here and they don't need a legend so no legend necessary okay so they've got quite a few deductions here so that's going to end up making them have a two out of seven and now the next step is to clear out these and get the recording done so I just highlight these delete and then go activate gene which is up here at the top under capture and it will recognize that I have a window open so I can click on the corner and it will automatically box that window come down to capture video and begin okay let's take a look at your graph from the exam you've got a couple of mistakes here starting off on the title that needs to be down here on the corner it needs to be uh, 12 size font you have 14 and you need to have a period after the one so I'll come here and put a zero for you to show you that change your font size to 12 undo the bold and now we're ready just to drag that over and put it on the corner whoops it didn't catch let's do redo that okay put that in place I notice also you have the uh, 10 size font on your X and Y axis labels so let's kick those up to 12 and notice that you've left the border on so you have a one point deduction for that. The way you turn that off is double click in the white space and come over here and check none under the format chart area. And then finally you didn't need a legend. That's when you have multiple lines or multiple bars to help differentiate them so you can clear that out. Alright, that's what your graph should look like. I hope this helps you improve your score next time on the uh, next graph we do. Remember you can watch the video tutorial on the website. Come by after school for tutoring and rewatch this video and double check your tables and graphs guide. Okay, so once I click stop, it's going to package the video to be labeled and then upload it. I have two window, two buttons here. One is for screencast, upload it to the internet, and here I have the choice to save it to my hard disk. I'm going to go ahead and click for screencast. 
in the upload window begins here. And depending on the file size, um, if it's about two and a half minutes long, which this one is, it's going to take about uh, between five and ten minutes to upload. So what I do is I move on to the next graded assignment, and when the uh, clip is ready, I'll package the email message, and then I'll mail it off. Also, with Copy Paste Pro, you have this little history going, and there's a history right here of the video. Uh, URL address. Once it's registered by Jing, this will automatically drop into the history palette of Copy Paste Pro. So uh, let's say I want to finish all the grading first and then later go back and make the emails after I've graded all the class. I've, I'll have all of those URLs automatically dropped into the history palette. Okay, so let's take a look at that final piece of software. This is going to be um, Mailplane, and this is how I'll send it off. I go over here and pull up Mailplane. It looks like my email uh, from Gmail. It's got some added features here. I've got a hot key, hit the letter C. It automatically pulls up the compose message. And I'll just send this off to myself. You'll notice that it, of course, Gmail keeps the history alive. And so students usually have to just type in one or two letters to pull up the student's name. OK, I'll say here graded exam graph. And then I'll just paste in off my palette that URL and it's ready to go and click off send and then you can move on to the next task okay so that's a look at video grading um, you've got three pieces of software there you've got um, Gene which does the video recording you've got uh, copy paste pro which keeps your uh, clip sets and then you have G uh, Mailplane, which can help to expedite the process of returning those digital assignments Okay, I'll be giving a tutorial on this in SS14 on Thursday. You're welcome to drop me an email and let me know you're going to come by. And you can get a little hands-on time with this software. If you have any other questions, you can always email me and I'll be happy to respond. And I look forward to seeing you in future Tech Tips.